Thank you. About Charulata, um, about that opening scene, which is uh, still referred to as one of the great, uh, uh, most uh, perfect scenes. Um, Ray said, always said that the best technique is the one that is not noticeable. Um, it is clear that he doesn't want to call attention on the camera work, but in this scene it's so obvious. I mean, the mastery of technique is so obvious. Uh, and the perfect balance in lighting, movement, sound and music and acting and camera work in this film is one of the best. Actually, he, uh, Chabolata, was also the film Ray uh, cited as his preferred film. Could you talk about this film and how important it is to Ray? Career. Ray always thought that the best work that he'd uh, ever done was Chalwata. I had said earlier that uh, he, was, he was essentially, his concept of himself was of a craftsman. And his craftsmanship was so exquisite in Chalwata, so good, that uh, he himself realized how good it was <laughs> and, and, and he always named Chalwata as his best film. Uh, think of the opening. The uh, two openings come to my mind, Chalwata and uh, Jalshagat. Jalshagat's opening also is fantastic. Uh, where you have the problem, the filmmaker, the scriptwriter, the filmmaker, has the problem of stating certain information. You have to give the audience certain basic information. In this case, in the, in the case of Charulata, the information that she is lonely. She is a married woman. She has a husband who is quite acceptable and, you know, a good-looking nice man. But she lives a lonely life and she has no children. And she is inside a house, an aristocratic house, outside of which is Mm. When we don't know what. She is so incarcerated that we will not know what there is outside the house. Mm. All this information, her age, her relationship with her husband, her relationship with the outside world, all of it has to be stated in econ ec economically. And what does uh, uh, Ray do? He has this lorgnette, lorgnette. Uh, which Charu um, raises to her eyes to see what is going on in the outside world, flipping from window to window, and watching a man going, uh, which expresses the boredom of her life, the uh, inventions she has to make to keep herself occupied, very, very succinctly, very quick, quickly, within uh, the space of uh, or whatever it is, a minute or something. And then the relationship with her husband, when the husband passes her without seeing her, and she raises the same lorgnette to look at him. Uh, and there is a tiny little use of, of the zoom lens there, which is also very rare in Ray's work, uh, but it works. So he, he, that's why he uses it. Uh, in, within that sequence, we have all the information we need. We know they are rich. We know um, uh, that it's a married couple. We know they are without children. Mm -hmm. We know that uh, it's, uh, it's a house in, within which she's sort of in a way confined as a woman. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, we are ready to uh, to get uh, get to the main main part of the story. Uh, it is exactly like in in uh, Jal Shakhar. In Jal Shakhar, uh, you have to tell the audience that he is an aristocratic person, old in age, who has who uh, whose best days are over, and who lives in the country. He's a zamindar. He's a landlord, and that. There, 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 there is a neighbor who is a capitalist who is rising mm. and uh, challenging his authority. All of this comes through in one scene where 
the servant takes this drink and the tobacco to him and we see the man from behind and he stretches out his hand to take the pipe of the uh, of the of the hubble bubble uh, and there's this vast sky in front uh, he's sitting there in, in, a, in a falling light the circumstances of his life are made clear within the space of a very short uh, space of time. Uh, and it, it is done in a poetic manner, not in, not, in, not, in, not in, in the way of information given by dialogue or by bits and pieces of uh, uh, scenes. They are continuous scenes, they are slow, and they sum, sum up the, the, the background, as it were, the perspective in which the film is to be seen. The two examples to my, um, that come to my mind of extraordinary openings. Mm, in Charulata, uh, except for once um, when the garden scene, we are never outside. And yet we do not feel that we are, we are, we are, we are being denied anything. The sense of the outer world existing uh, beyond the walls of the house is always there in this kind of songs, in the nature of the conversation, in the references that are made, or in all this, and the way of the sound also is used when people calling out, people who are outside um, uh, are looking at, um, uh, at, scene, at a scene that is outside the house. In all these, the sense of the outside world, the sense of the city of, of, of Calcutta within which this uh, is taking place, is ever present without being shown. This is itself uh, a masterly piece of work. And Ray himself designed the set with the help, with, along with uh, Bansila Chandragupta, of course. And there's this famous letter to Bansi in which he describes the requirements of the set. I saw the set myself and thought it was one of the most extraordinary sets ever built. And the sense of being in a real house couldn't have been better. And the lighting is also so carefully done that when uh, Charu Charu stands there listening to uh, his husband, her husband, uh, talking to Amal and uh, talking about the possibility of his of Amal's marrying and going away to, to England, at that particular moment, there is a little movement, and a movement from light into shadow. Uh, 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 Chalu moves from the light into, into the shadow. Uh, that's an exquisite reaction, uh, which is so fine in detail and so well observed that it uh, stays in, in, in the mind. It's, the film is full of moments, moments uh, of that nature, uh, where the action is broken down into tiniest uh, portions, and every portion is exquisitely timed and uh, executed. Uh, for instance, the breaking of the glass, the, in the, uh, the sound of the sound of the, of the window pane breaking, uh, which is which is used to to trigger off uh, um, uh, Charlie's reaction. And these are, uh, these are, uh, the film is full of moments like this, a succession of moments of inevitability, absolute inevitability. Oh, nothing else could have happened, is the sense that we, we, we get all the time. Would you like? It's okay. 9 sur 5, 8e. Tell me when you're ready. Yes. Huh? Ready? Oh, all right. uh, the reason why uh, Charlotte works so well is also uh, the complementarity of the, in the acting. How well the, the, the actors work together, gel together. Uh, Madhavi Mukherjee's 
came into the first three film, uh, for her was uh, Monagot, uh, where she proved to be an extraordinary actress with a fine sense of rhythm and continuity and sense of detail, sense of uh, the, the value of every single gesture and the, the way the one gesture flowed into another without any, any self-consciousness. And she represents a, a type, a certain kind of Indian woman who is shy, reserved, but intelligent and uh, capable of feeling and uh, whose expression, self-expression, is uh, very well modulated and uh, controlled um, without outbursts, but uh, with a constant sense of ups and downs and movements, which are continuous, absolutely seamless, as it were. Mm. And uh, this comes to a, a complete fruition in, in Charlotte, of course, uh, where um, uh, Shomitra Chatterjee comes into the picture. Uh, Shomitra and uh, um, Madhavi both represent certain, a certain Bengali type of person, uh, of the upper class, if you like. Uh, in Shomitra's case, um, you may know that he is, he is a poet and he used to edit a, a, poet, um, a literary magazine. Um, and he brought to it a sensibility which was very Tagorean. He was very much a product of the Tagorean age, period. Uh, more so than, than Madhavi Mukherjee. Uh, and uh, his looks show a, a, a kind of middle class, well-bred and um, educated uh, sensibility. The, the, a kind of poetic temperament almost, you might say. And again, like uh, Motherby, uh, controlled, reserved, uh, understated. Not in a, in a Western sense, but <coughs> not in a Western sense, but in, in an Indian way. Uh, so that uh, when the, the, the two are cast together in Charlotte, they fit perfectly into the, into the scene, not merely as actors and actresses, but as persons. The, the, uh, in Ray's, Ray's uh, acting, one very important thing is that he never, almost never employs an actor against the character. The, char the, the character that the actor expresses naturally is what he wants. The, 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 the radiation coming out of the personality uh, is, 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 uh, is never cut. It is never, the acting is never directed against the, the radiation, but always in favor of the radiation, that this is what the, this person expresses best. So therefore, this is the purpose for which he should be used. In, uh, 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 in, in uh, the case of uh, Somitra Chatterjee, um, he and Amol are in a sense inseparable. He is Amol. And Madhavi is uh, Charlotte. Uh, then they, they, they're not being asked to do the opposite of what they are. It's a very important distinction, I think. And uh, the, there is a similarity also between their responses, the way they respond to a situation, the way they wait before speaking a word, uh, the pauses they give and, the, mm -hmm. and the, the way they move has distinct similarity uh, which binds them together. And 
in a way also it is separated from Bhupati. Bhupati also belongs to the same class and the same ambiance, but uh, th there is an affinity created between Amol and Charu, you know, which is which is natural, which comes out of from within the personality of uh, personalities of the two uh, performers. This is why uh, when they appear again in Kapurush, you get again the same sense. You get, get the sense I did that uh, Amal has come back to reclaim Chad and again fails to do so. <laughs> it is as it were a, a relationship between the, the actor and actress, not, not merely between uh, the, the persons. I, I'm not saying that in real life uh, anything uh, of that nature happened. But the sense we get is uh, of the oneness of the character and the, the, the person playing it. And it, 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 the Amal Charu relationship of Charulata is reflected again uh, in, in Kapurush. The two go together so well. It is a pity that they didn't come together again. <laughs>